The Aggies were able to take down Louisiana Monroe 47 to 3. I feel great about the offense, but even though the defense only let up three points, I'm still concerned. You are locked on Aggies, your daily podcast on the Texas A&M Aggies, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome on in to Locked On Aggies. I'm your host, Andrew Stefaniak. Thanks for making Locked On Aggies your first listen every single day. You know, it's it, it's it was a funny game because I don't know if I've ever left a football game with the score being 47 to 3 and said to myself, huh, I don't feel good about the defense. Now, we're not gonna be quick to over, we're not gonna overreact today. We're not gonna be crazy today. You know, they're they're we're not gonna um you know, we're not going to overreact to a game against Louisiana Monroe because there's, you know, you got SEC play coming up, but there were positive things to take away. We'll start with the positives. We're going to talk about the offense here for a little bit. We'll talk about the defense in, in a little in, a little bit later, but I'll tell you one thing. Uh, Connor Wigman is really good at football. Um, he's really good. He's a pretty good football player, I tell you. I mean, listen to these numbers. 25 for 29, 337 yards and a touchdown. I mean, I just and he it was just a great performance from the Aggie quarterback. He also carried the ball three times for 18 yards and a score on the ground. It was a 19 yard scamper for the touchdown. I think this offense flowed really well, and I mean, you're missing Evan Stewart. Noah Thomas was in and out of the game with an injury. I mean, you were missing some weapons, and I thought that this offense still flowed well. Um, the rushing game was better. You averaged 4.8 yards a carry. Uh, I think that's that's a, that number's forever improving. I think you want to see it get better next week as well. But I mean, this was this offense. I mean, listen to, I mean, Anaya Smith, seven for one twenty-seven. Jade Walker, five for one ten in the touchdown. You got Moose was four for 33. Jake Johnson was six for 36. Mari Daniels, two for 27 out of the backfield. I mean, this, this, this offense flowed well. Connor Wigman looked really good. Max Johnson came in and did some good things, 7 for 11 for 62 yards and a touchdown. I mean, you know, this offense looks good. That's three straight games putting up 30, you know, 33 plus points, over 50 against New Mexico, 47 against Louisiana Monroe, and 33 against Miami in the loss. So I, I you know, and you don't want to overreact to the offense, but I mean, I think it's a big enough sample size, three games, wins over um, two not so great teams and a loss to. Miami, but the offense moved the football against Miami and scored points against Miami. So I, I really am not concerned about the offense. I'm not. I think you might have to win some football games. I think you might have to put up 52 points to win some football games. Like Arkansas, what we saw with their defense against BYU, I mean, I think you might have to – that game might be 97 to 96. Whoever whoever scores 97 wins that one. Um, But, you know – I, I leave this game happy about a lot of things, and there's a lot of concerns. There are some injuries. You had a lot of people. Evan Stewart didn't suit up. Bryce Foster didn't suit up. Now, I mean, the way you know the way I kind of look at this. I mean, Tony Grimes didn't suit up, which answers makes me feel a little bit better about his situation, knowing like he was banged up. Um, but you know, Coach Fisher, he 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 was very coach speaky in his responses to those you know to this stuff i think that um you know he was you know he was very he was very coach speaky he wasn't he, he he wasn't very candid with us he wasn't like yeah you know i'm not looking good for this player and he made it pretty clear that he thinks i mean these people are banged up and they just weren't ready to play now do i want them out there playing against louisiana monroe when sec play starts next week if you know they're healthy enough to play they're healthy enough to play but you want to get them really healthy i'm cool with that but we just you know there wasn't a great update so i don't know you don't really know the status of these players i mean i'll ask coach fisher when i when i talk to him at the teleconference on wednesday but i mean you know you just you just don't i don't really feel good about the status of these players because we don't know anything so i mean i, I don't i don't have any negative reports but i don't have any positive reports um i did see reported that chase basantis could have re-entered the game. Um, I only saw that one place. So, you know, but I, I saw that he could have re-entered the game if 
you know, he needed to. So that makes me feel better. But, I mean, this offense moved the ball well. I was extremely happy with the offense. I thought they did a lot well against Louisiana Monroe. And I do think that this stuff is going to translate to some of the better SEC opponents. We're going to talk about the defense and what we saw from that unit coming up right here on Locked on Aggies. But first, I want to tell you about our friends over at Athletic Brewing Company. Athletic Brewing Company has completely changed the non-alcoholic beer game. They make non-alcoholic beers that actually taste good, full flavor and well-crafted, just like a full-strength beer. Their brews are great tasting and award-winning and beat out full-strength beers in global competitions. They brew over 50 styles of craft non-alcoholic beer, including IPAs, Golden Sours, and more. They're constantly releasing limited edition experimental styles to add to their variety. They sent me a six-pack. Stuff is so good. Tastes great. Absolutely loved it. You have got to go check out Athletic Brewing Company. You can find Athletic Brewing Company's non-alcoholic brews at a store near you or buy online at athleticbrewing.com. First-time customers can use code Locked On to get 15% off your first order. That's code L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N at checkout for 15% off at athleticbrewing.com. Near beer, exclusions, and conditions apply. Athletic Brewing Company, fit for all times. You know, one thing I saw from Aggie Twitter, and I agree with it, it's funny, it's like, you only let up three points. And I mean, I didn't count, but you know, I'm pretty sure it was less than 250 of offense. You had 95 passing yards um, and 127 on the ground. So yeah, you're you're less than um, but yeah, I just I don't feel good about it. I saw some Louisiana Monroe receivers running open. Um, I thought the front seven was a little bit better. I'm not, I mean, here, you know, here's the deal. I, I as y'all know that listen every day, I'm not happy with how Coach Durkin uses his defensive line, uses his front seven. I still feel that way after this game. That opinion hasn't changed. But I think that the secondary is really concerning to me, especially if the defensive line isn't going to be getting any pressure on the quarterback. If the D-line isn't getting pressure on the quarterback, I think that we're going to have some serious concerns this season on the defensive side. Now, I think you're going to be able to score enough points to where you can win football games even if you know you're letting up a lot of points. But I do think it's going to take a lot of points to win some football games against teams like Arkansas, um, maybe LSU, maybe Tennessee. Their defense didn't look great. You know, I, I think it's going to take a lot of points to beat some of these teams. So this um, now, I mean, this, this defense will have a game every once in a while where they show up and play well. But I, I definitely have some concerns as we prepare for Auburn and prepare for SEC play. Definitely have a lot to be concerned about. We'll talk more about the defense on Monday's episode of Locked on Aggies. Um, a couple shout-outs. Ruben Owens um, and Jody Walker both put up touchdowns. Really impressed with both of their performances and really excited to see what their a &M careers look like, what the rest of their seasons look like. I was really impressed with those two young men. Happy to see they played a great football game on Saturday. And then a shout-out to old Randy, the kicker. He was... Let me make sure I got the exact numbers. Four for four on field goals with a long of 52 and four for four on extra points. You know, he had a kick that that was a little bit painful last week. And so seeing him rebound well, make some big kicks was great to see for the Aggie kicker. Good for you, Randy, Mr. Bond, James Bond. I appreciate you making some kicks for us. So um, all in all, wins a win. I do feel like teams of old might have found a way to struggle in that game, especially with all the players that were banged up and, and you know weren't able to go so it's good to go out there and beat the brakes off the team happy about that but listen got a lot to get ready to rock and roll for the auburn tigers who head to college station on saturday big game coming up the aggies have a lot to fix a lot to get ready to go before the first sec matchup that is going to do it for today's reaction bonus episode of locked on aggies thank you all so much for tuning in every single day i really appreciate it have a great rest of your Sunday. Enjoy the NFL football, and we will see you on Monday.